All right, welcome back. So, uh, in the previous episode, I believe we did the library car. Um, found out a little more information from uh, SBO and Vector here. Uh, and I think we're ready to continue on. Sure, sure you don't want to stay and look at all the great books a little longer. And mystery calls. Okay. The investigation continues, especially since we can't actually, you know, look at any of the books. So. Wait, there's another person on this train? <laughs> the casino car. All this stuff's getting heavy. I'll dump what I don't need. Okay. Sounds good. Rouge, there you are. We have a lot to say to you. We've visited every train car so far, and everyone said they've seen you wandering about. It's high time you told us why. My, my. Talk about a warm welcome. Quick to the point, are you, darling? I see you've brought the microwave master with you. Uh, please don't let that be my legacy. Tails is right. Folks have brought you up a lot. Care they explain? Tell him, Rouge. We're gonna need the help. Blaze? Alright, I've been hunting for a treasure rumored to be stored here on the train. Treasure? They certainly didn't tell me about treasure in this interview. Well, yeah, why would they? <laughs> Since I'm part business tycoon, part, uh, per per purveyor, I guess, of fine collectibles, I knew I had to find it. Tell him what it is, Rouge. Alright. Well. It's a Fabergé Chow Egg. Wow. That does sound extravagant. Especially since I didn't understand a single word of that other than egg. <laughs> Please, don't tell me you accepted Amy's birthday invite only to find that egg. A woman can have multiple goals. I gave Amy her birthday present already, so everything's well taken care of. She wrote me in on the hunt. Oh, sorry about that. I uh, wanted to... Sometimes when I'm switching between games, certain games are better with the, uh, the cursor. I just think this one's a little better. Since it doesn't have its own, like, in-game cursor, it's just better to not have the cursor at all. Wait, so the treasure is real? It's actually here? What did you manage to find? Oh well, why don't you both take a look? Found the train's blueprints in the library car with the safe code written right on it. The score of a lifetime. The train's blueprints? Please, Rouge, let us see that. Uh uh uh. Finders keepers, sweetheart. There's a problem. We need your assistance. What kind of problem? The elevator behind the security guard leads up us right to the room holding the Fabergé Chow egg. Wait, this train car has multiple floors? <laughs> I mean, it's, like, that's not unheard of, but you, you have a actual uh, elevator going up there? That's a uh, interesting. But we're not getting anywhere without the guard's access card. We need a plan to get that card to use the elevator, and our chance of success grows with everyone's help. So, you want us to help you steal the Fabergé Chow Egg? Blaze, you don't have a problem with this? I see no issues here. Sounds like a fine business venture. Yeah, that, that's not a business venture that's called thievery. <laughs> Although, and I, will, <laughs> I will make the joke. <laughs> it's the obvious joke here. <laughs> Either that or breaking the rules must be refreshing for a princess. Chili dog, do you have an opinion on this? The feeling is for squares. It's time for a five finger discount. Well, I suppose that both Blaze and Chili Dog are in. 
Yeah, I didn't really have a choice there. <laughs> okay, let's get that Fabergé egg. That's the ticket. Happy to have you both on the team. Now, we must plan. Alright. What we got? Oh boy. What have we gotten ourselves into? Access to the Fabergé egg room is behind a locked elevator door. The security guard has the access card. Do we attack the guard, bribe the guard, distract the guard? We're all charming enough for that to work. That was actually a really nice thing to say. I've never seen you smile like that. <laughs> Seems they don't know how to take a compliment. <sighs> <laughs> okay, who's distracting the security guard? Probably Rouge. Of course I'll distract him. Who could resist my feminine charm? Well, apparently not Chili Dog. <laughs> not sure how effective your charms will be on a chow. Plus your uh, flight might prove useful. I'm not sure you being the distraction makes sense. Oh well, fair enough. Let's think this over again. Alright, um, I guess maybe Tails? I don't like the way he said that, Vito. Alright. I wonder if they're like all not able to distract him or something. Alright, I guess, uh, Blaze. Let's try her. <laughs> My life, I've never let a single person down. I won't falter. I'm so stoic. I chills. Well, I trust her. Moving on. Alright. Pretend the claw machine is stuck. Push a bunch of poker chips to the floor. Ask the chow about their partner and kids. Um, um, people love talking about themselves. This will easily distract the guard. Perfect. I think we can move on then. With the guard distracted, Rouge, how will you get a access card? All right, grab them and fly up to the roof, to the rafters. Ask for the card. Pick their pocket. That chow in uniform won't notice a thing. Excellent. We can count on you, Rouge. Try not to take anything else from them if you can help it. No promises. The card obtained. We need to get Blaze out of there. Chili Dog, what's your plan? Say there's a drink without a coaster. Push the security guard over. Pretend you're Blaze's spouse. Absolutely vile. I can think of nothing. <laughs> Despicable. I would never allow such a thing in my kingdom. Guard will go running immediately. I'm sure of it. <laughs> Great. And with the guard distracted, we'll all head to the elevator. Just like that, we all make it in the elevator. Inside we... Celebratory dance, pop some apple cider, sing victory a cappella. Celebratory dance, definitely. That, that definitely seems like the uh, this group's thing. Oh no, one last security measure we didn't account for. What do we do about the mechanical arms attacking from the ceiling? Uh, high five each of them, have tails disable them, tie them into one big knot. The end of those arms are claws, I'm not touching them. My high fives aren't given away willy nilly. They are to be cherished. I don't think my hands would survive a high five from them. Let's rethink. All right. What do we do about the mechanical arms? All right. Table and tails disable them. Tie them in. The, uh, should be able to disengage them. I'll just need some time. Well, that leads us nicely to our next question. Oh no, Tails is 
taking a while and the arms are tightening their grip. Try and hope they sympathize, imagine you're not in pain, pretend there's nothing wrong. <laughs> Darling Zed, happy to say this plan is perfect. Yes, definitely perfect. Nothing could possibly go wrong. Cause this isn't <laughs> cause this isn't a video game, right? Alright. But if everyone is ready, it's time to execute. Ready, let's begin. Okay, interesting. I was kind of expecting a little more to that, like the actual execution of the plan, but all right. All right, the plan beforehand was very thorough, I must admit, and it was executed to perfection. Enough chatter. Now we claim our real prize. I have the safe code right here on these blueprints. Let's claim our Fabergé egg. This is the casino car. I suppose it's all expensive gems and gold. Maybe rings, too. Uh, rings. You could... You can find those lying around in the grass. That's of no interest to us. Let's focus on the real prize, shall we? Right. We gotta find the safe with the Fabergé egg. That seems to be everything other than the big obvious safe in the middle of the room. No question, this has got to be safe. Nice. It's here. I have it. Alright, before anyone sees us, let's get out of here. Hold on, kiddo. You can't be so hasty. You truly think that's all there is to this egg? No further secrets whatsoever. Only three of these eggs were ever made, each hiding their own individual secret. Ooh. No one knows the secret because anyone who opens opened one of these has never lived to tell the tale. You can open the egg? You sure can, and all of you will bear witness to its secrets. Rouge. I don't know if you should... All you need to do is twist it. Well, this seems, uh... Bruce has, uh, has no one lived to tell the egg's secret? Because each egg is a bomb? I think you're onto something, kid. It sure sounds like a bomb. <laughs> need to dispose of that egg now. Dispose of it? Well, yeah, it's about to blow up. That's an excellent question. What do we do? Why are there... Alright, down it goes. We're clearly not going to blow up the elevator, let's... all. Oh. I thought that was a good idea. Um... Doesn't matter. We need the Chaos Emerald to be able to do that. Here, give it to me. Get get as far away. I should have tried all the options just to, to show it all. I'm gonna show them all off, but nah, get as far away from me as possible. I'm, I'm Captain America. <laughs> just remember me. Stop. Micro kids obviously not going to sacrifice them. Sacrifice themselves. Their body's far too scrawny to contain any sort of blast. Oh, rude. I didn't have to say it like that. <laughs> Let's think of something else. Um, okay, I am happy that they take away the options. You're insane. You want to need to dispose of the bomb. Well, why don't we just put it back in the safe? <laughs> Listen, 
I get that. What if the egg isn't a bomb? Wait, that's right. Chili dog, I think you're on to something. Huh? What's right? Spit it out. We don't have time. Sorry, it's just Espio did say something interesting when we quizzed him about the train's manual. Okay, um, what efficient and extremely accurate technology was installed to insist in keeping the train spotless? Robotic arms. During the events, they can perform a variety of tasks. Okay, robotic arms can also detect weapons or explosives being brought onto the train, ensuring passenger safety. So it's not uh, those robot arms that attacked us in the elevator seem to have have a lot of functions here on the train. The bomb was brought onto the train disguised as this egg. Arms would have detected it and wouldn't have allowed it on. The only other person who knows the coming and going of the train is the conductor, and he surely wouldn't allow such a thing either. So if we're out of options, I think we should just wait and see what happens. Yeah, you know, well, let's put it in, like, the safe as well. Okay, we wait. Okay. The egg, it opened. It's hollow. Not a bomb at all. We both really were on to something. Whew. My, my. Well, that's one way to get the heart racing. Completely relieved. My hunch was right, thankfully. Wow, look at that sparkle. It's so heavy, too. Final secret to the Fabergé egg. It's a chow covered in gems. Wow. Perfect. It's exquisite. It's revolutionary. Is she drooling over sparkly ornament? Though I must admit, it is stunning. You said no one lived to tell the, the secret. I wonder why if the egg wasn't a bomb. Because they weren't as tough as us. I don't know. Who cares? There's definitely some other reason. Maybe they naturally died of old age and just kept the secret with them? Um, as much fun as this has been, we should get out of here before we're spotted. Good call. No one seems to suspect anything. The security guard is back at the post. Hope they subdued the drink coaster fiend, okay? Thank you both for your assistance. That hunt was exactly the thrill I was seeking. <laughs> no, Tails, they're corrupting you. But I'd prefer to never do it again. Now, Rouge. Rouge? Completely absorbed in that bedazzled chow. What? What is it? About those blueprints. Now that you're done with them, maybe we could take a look? Well, I appreciate your assistance. It's as I said, finders keepers. I'll need them a little longer in case I missed any other treasures, but I promise to let you take a peek. I don't want to sound ungrateful, but I'm sure you get it, sweetheart. Alright, she is more powerful than me. Ooh. Well, we'll get out of, out of your way for now, then. We have a murder, murder mystery to attend to. Before you go, Shadow gave me and Rouge one of these. He passed through earlier. Let me unlock the door so you can continue forward. You know, we've had a lot of people mention you, Rouge. We also have just as much suspicion about Shadow. He's unpredictable, that one. Good luck to you. The door is unlocked. Both of you stay safe. Thanks again. Will do. All right, let's let's uh, let's just go ahead and take a little look around the car since we haven't done that. Uh, the capabilities of these robot arms are quite spectacular. I'm impressed every time we see them. I can't help but wonder how they're controlled. I don't know. Conductor was ordering it 
around a bit earlier. At the very least, things operate much smoother with them here. I wouldn't worry about it. Yeah, that is true. They're very versatile. Alright. Hmm. Should I give the slot machine a try? Yeah, sure. Well, I lost. Do I try again? I wonder if there's like an Easter chili dog. What do you expect to happen if you keep playing? Big money? I'm gonna get it this time. You'll see. Well, I lost. Maybe next time I'll get it. It's a good thing there's no actual, you know, currency. You know, the definition of sanity is... <laughs> one more lane. One more lane. Just one more lane, bro. One more lane. You know the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over, expecting a different outcome, right? I'm starting to get worried here. Don't worry, Tails. I got it this time. Well, I lost. Do I try again? I wonder if there's, like, how many different dialogues there are. Have you ever heard of the sunk cost fallacy? Uh, I think I know. This is, like, eventually, uh... Phenomenon whereby a person is reluctant to abandon. <laughs> He's so surprised that you actually remember, <laughs> actually know what it is. Uh, is reluctant to abandon a strategy of course of action because they have invested heavily in it, even when it is clear that abandonment would be more beneficial. Of course, I've heard of it. Why do you ask? No reason. All right, big money, big bunny. Oh, I lost. Do I try again? <laughs> uh. I'll be over here when you decide you're done. Alright, big money, big money. Alright. I think that's probably the end of the text, but... I am just curious. Alright. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> I really thought I'd lost you there for a second. <laughs> First Sonic and now Chili Dog. Okay. Yeah, let's go. Thanks again for your help earlier. What a pan uh, poultry menu? Not a lot of options, sweetie. I think I'll have to pass. Not a problem. Just let me know if you need something later. Sure. If I need a bag of chips, I'll holler. Do you think you could go over your alibi again for us, Rouge? Amy began the murder mystery. What did you do? Well, once Amy paired Blaze and I up, I immediately roped her in on my Faberge egg hunt. We split up at the casino car, and I went searching for the blueprints. Walked back through the library and saloon cars till I found it in the library car. Did you see Sonic at all during your search? Sonic? No. I don't believe so. I remember him in the dining car at the beginning. Do you have anything to support that claim? Listen, plenty of people saw me poking around, and I have the blueprints on me. Hardly had time to chase Sonic down, murder him, and find the blueprints myself. We appreciate you answering our questions. Alright. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Well, that's definitely not ominous at all. <laughs> I suppose he does deal a lot with casinos. Or, yeah. He's an evil scientist that's always caused trouble for us at Sonic. Hmm. Every poker chip I've personally seen has egg has had Eggman's mug on it, so I'm not surprised to see this here. That's fair, I suppose. I shouldn't be so surprised then. Dr. Eggman's built a lot of casinos to run around in, but I've never actually sat down to play any for fun. Well, wanna play blackjack? I don't know how to play that. It's easy. Chili Dog, we simply don't have time for this. Must avenge Sonic. Probably a good point. Alright, that seems to be everything other than talking with Blaze. Pulling off that heist was much more enjoyable than the rest of these casino games. The 
the whole, maybe the egg is a bomb thing destroyed my appetite. Yeah, I was nervous myself. We could tell, we could tell you sweat out of your uniform pretty often. Yeah, you're a very, um, animated person. Alright, what's your alibi? Do you think you could go over your alibi again for us, Blaze? When Amy began the murder mystery, what did you do? Sure. We left the dining car and Rouge pulled me aside to talk about the Fabergé egg. We walked and talked to the casino car where we then went our separate ways. I scoped around and discovered the egg was here. After that, I played the slot machines. The train did a sudden jolt, which was odd, but I didn't leave the car. Gave Amy her present when she stopped by. Shadow passed through as well, but it was brief. He gave me the exit key and left. Interesting. Do you have any sort of proof that you were playing the slots? I do, actually. I kept winning, so I saved this cash out voucher. You can take a look. Let's see here. 14,000 credits? That's an enormous payout. How did you. Just naturally lucky, I suppose. Smirk. She's so self-aware. <laughs> well, thank you for your time, Blaze. Anytime. And Tails, do tell Cream I said hi, won't you? Of course. Can do. Alright. I think that's pretty much everything for the casino car. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything. Ooh, almost missed it. Oh? Oh, did I hear an O? Oh? Always believed in a thorough investigation, even peeking in the trash. See if it's about persistence tale. My dad told me that when it's going to be something so minute, it's not even like relevant. But my dad told me that when we he met my mother, he would drive to her work two hours away every Tuesday with a flower from his garden quickly agreed to a date, and when she arrived at the restaurant, she found two dozen roses waiting for her. Then a year, the two were married. It's about caring, dedication, and persistence. That's um, very sweet, but all that's in the bin is a lollipop stick. A uh, lollipop stick? Yeah, like the leftover stick from a lollipop. That's all that's here. Chili dog? Chili dog? Is everything okay? You need me the break? <laughs> the flower? Just leave me be. <laughs> Alright. Alright. I think that's gonna be it. Or, uh, oh, nice. I like that. It's a nice little Easter egg. Um, no cheating. Yeah. Okay. Is it Twinkle Park? And, yep. Yeah. Alright. So, again, I think that's going to be the end of the part, and I will see you guys in the next part. Thanks for watching.